like it a lot and I have been learning a lot. I learned C major, both hands, G major, both hands, F major, both hands. Peary Habits Level 1, Musical Lesson 2. So you've learned Sakura Section A and A1, and now we're going to add Sakura Section B. So keep practicing on your practice chart this week. You're going to do Sakura A and A1 five times. Keep thinking of all those fern steps that you worked on so great last time. And you're also going to do Sakura B with the fern uh, notation that we did last time. Each individual step going through the fingers, expression, rhythm, and notes, and then checking yourself on all of it at the end. So let's go through section B. Section B is found in measures three and four. So B happens in measures three and four, and then it also happens in measures seven and eight. So the fingers for section B. Um, section B fingers, the left hand, here's the great news, does this look at all familiar? Okay, that's just like A and A1, right? So nothing new. Uh, fingers two and four and then finger one. Now right hand will also start on, on uh, finger two on A and it will go two, three, four, three, two, three, two, one. So those are the fingers. Let's do it one more time. Two, three, four, three, two, three, two, one. The expression on uh, section B is it has a big long line over it which means it's going to stay really smooth and connected. That line's called a slur or a phrase mark which means to play your, your notes really smooth. So in my right hand And that last note, we're going to come up both hands, wrists straight up, very slowly, not, not crazy fast, because Sakura is a smooth, you know, song-like piece. It puts you in a trance. So nice and slow, but that's our expression. Now, for some students, it's really hard to play smoothly. So you play like this. Here's a trick. If you're having a lot of time, a lot of uh, hard time playing from finger to finger, I want you to try and play more than one note at once. So like this. Just exaggerate what you're wanting to do. See, I'm holding down all my fingers together to get that feeling of playing. And as you practice your power fingers exercise in muscular lesson five, You'll start doing that. That will also help. That will give you a lot of practice, but you might not have gotten to that yet. So that's how you'll practice. And then pretty soon you'll get that smooth playing. The rhythm is pretty straightforward, but we go one, one, one. There's some fast notes here. Fast, fast, one, two. Okay, so that's going to go fast, fast there. Try and stay right with me. Fast, fast. You can practice playing with me uh, to get that rhythm down. It also helps to make up words and uh, sing along with it while you're playing. And then the notes, let's go over the notes. The left hand you already know. The right hand goes A, B, C, B, A, B, A, F. So go through each step of Fern and mark out your final. Five days a week, if it's too much, just do one measure at a time, do hands alone, do whatever you feel like you can do, and then add on from there. So good luck on Sakurobi.